first trip as Director General to Yemen in July 2017, a country which was and remains mirrored in civil war. I met a mother and her malnourished child who had traveled for hours to reach the health center I was visiting in Sana'a, Yemen. The woman was skin and bone, begging the medical staff for care, but not for herself, for her child. Two weeks ago, I was in Ukraine, visiting bombed hospitals and meeting health workers. I visited a reception center for refugees in Poland, where I met another mother who told me that when the shelling began, her young daughter was very scared. I'm a child of war. The sound of gunfire and shells whistling through the air, the smell of smoke after they struck, the fear, the pain, the loss, these things have stayed with me throughout my life. War shakes and shatters the foundations on which previously stable societies stood. It deprives whole communities of essential health services, leaving children at risk of vaccine-preventable diseases, women at increased risk of sexual violence, expectant mothers at risk of an unsafe birth, and people who live with communicable and non-communicable diseases without access to the life-saving services and treatments on which they depend. And it leaves psychological scars that can take years or decades to heal. For me, it's real and it's personal. War is bad enough, but it's made worse because it creates the conditions for disease to spread. There can be no help without peace. But equally, there can be no peace without health.